Good morning, Forest. I'm Catherine. And I'm Regan. And today's date is Tuesday, February 9th. And on today's show, we'll be taking a look at all of our upcoming events and sports. starting to pick up again, please be diligent about wearing your mask above your mouth and nose unless told by a teacher that you are socially distanced. Dance Marathon Kickoff Week was a huge success and tomorrow night we'll be hosting our boys powder buff game and on Friday we'll have the teachers versus winners game. So make sure to come out and support our boys and Dance Marathon. Students, if you want a copy of your matchmaker results, you can purchase them in the library for $2 at any time or buy them from class officers during 8A lunches and CAD. They will be selling till the end of February, so make sure to purchase them soon. And don't forget, today and tomorrow, Ms. Polars will be selling Krispy Kreme donuts for $8 a box. So bring your cash because these boxes sell out quickly. Freshmen, your class t-shirts are available in the media center, so make sure to place an order as soon as possible. Also, please be sure to comply with our dress code, especially when it comes to crop tops in this chilly season. With spring sports starting up, our athletes are staying busy. Let's throw it over to Rachel to see what's going on. Good morning, Forest. I'm Rachel with your sports news for today. getting busy heading into spring sports season. Our girls varsity softball preseason has begun. Our lacrosse season is also kicking off with the parent versus faculty scrimmage, which will definitely be a game worth watching. Last night, boys varsity baseball started their season with a game against Westport. They came out with a 7-2 win, and Emma Beth is here with the inside on that game. It may seem like the spring sports haven't started their season yet, but baseball is in the full swing of things, having their first preseason game last night against Westport. I mean, this preseason is going to help. Um, we have a lot of energy in the dugout going on, and we look good already, which is a great sign for the upcoming season. Mindset going through this game, you know, we try to maintain positive energy throughout the entirety of the game and, you know, keep the bats going and stay strong in the field and on the mound. Even though it was an easy win for our boys, there are still some things that they need to personally work on to further their expectations for the rest of the season. Personally work on, I didn't do the best at the plate tonight, so I will definitely be working on that for the future. Um, some expectations we have, we want to make it to that final four. We want to be one of those last four teams remaining. Um, things I'm looking forward to this year are um, being a part of this team. You know, it's one of my favorite teams I've been on. I feel like uh, it's my family. We at WCAT would like to wish our baseball players an out-of-the-park season, but it doesn't quite start yet as they still have two more preseason games against Bellevue, one coming up this Friday at home at 6.30, so be sure to be there to support. For WCAT, this has been Emma Beth reporting. Tennis is kicking off their season as well with a girls game tonight against Danellen at 4. Our boys weightlifting has a home meet tonight against Bellevue at 5. If you've been looking around school, you would have seen lots of signs for the Boys Wrestling County Championship at home at 6. They are looking for all the fans they can get, so try your best to come out and support them tonight. Now let's take a glimpse at sports in the rest of the country. The Tampa Bay Lightning won 6-1 over the Nashville Predators, with Captain Steve Stamkos scoring two of their six goals. That's all the sports news we have for you today. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Rachel. Now moving over to other Forest news, we have an exciting competition going on around Forest. FFA is raising money by having people donate to whichever dean they want to see kiss a pig. Let's throw it over to Jaden to learn more. 
Hi Forrest, this is Jadens here, reporting from the FFA area. We're about to get some lovely interviews about the FFA's Kiss of Pig event. Now, down to the stables to see what's up. Hello Forrest, this is Jaden Tierra, and today I have an important interview with Bessie. Okay, so, what are your thoughts about the FFA Week's Kiss a Pig contest? Does it bother you at all that the pigs are getting more attention than you are? Absolutely incredible. So, what I really want to know is, I want to know more about you. So, what is it like living here at Forest High School in our beautiful... Excuse me? I don't think we can use that. I don't... I'm sorry. Cut, cut, cut. After that lovely interview with the cow, I am now here with the main character of this event. This is Dixie, one of the pigs that may or may not be getting kissed during the Kiss a Pig event. Dixie, tell me how you feel about this event and was it consensual? That is absolutely fantastic. Now back to you, Jaden. All right, you know what? I think that went really well. Oh my God. There's goats. We gotta interview the goats. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, uh, we're here with uh, WCAT. We just wanted to get your thoughts on the FFA Kiss a Pig Week. Who would you like to see kiss the pig? No, Miss Brown is not an option. Choose someone else. No, it's one of the, you can't choose Miss Brown. No, you can't, I can't, you, you can't, I'm sorry, okay. Well, what do you think about the FFA Kiss a Pig Week? Who would you like to see kiss a pig? No, it's not, don't lick the microphone, please. No, you can't choose Miss Brown. Why do they all want to pick Miss Brown? And don't forget to donate from February 8th to 12th to see the dean of your choice kiss a pig. This has been Jaden Tierra, signing off. In other FFA news, FFA week is this week, and today's theme is Wilderness Wednesday. Tomorrow is blue and gold, which are FFA colors. So wear your blue and gold in support of FFA. As this year gets closer and closer to an end, make sure you're checking out your 2021 yearbook. There are so many amenities to each package. We'll be right back. What's up, Forrest? I'm Lynn, and I'm here to give you some information on our 2021 yearbook packages. The first package we have is our personalized package, which includes a 2021 yearbook, your name on it, two activity icons, and a pen signing set, all for $110. The next package is the basic package, which includes a 2021 yearbook, a clear protective cover, an autograph section insert, and a pen signing set, all for $100. The last package we have is the yearbook only package, which is just the 2021 yearbook for $90. If you would like to purchase one of these packages, they can be found on the Balfour.com website. This is a yearbook that you are not going to want to miss, so don't miss your chance and buy one today. Juniors and seniors, make sure you're keeping up to date with your guidance counselor to make sure you're on track for testing and graduation. Also, juniors and seniors, song forms are due this Friday, so don't forget to turn them in. That's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Regan. And I'm Catherine. Have a great day, Forest, And like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.